to bring artists working in different forms together to collaborate because when artists communicate, new pathways open and new forms of expression emerge. It's kind of an amazing process what happens when a painter comes into ballet and looks at conventions that are a part of your form and just is instantly able to just say that one thing that changes your mind about your process or a moment in the ballet. For the same time to give that painter an opportunity to see a ballet that couldn't exist without her or his painting. We wanted to just see where that would take our art form. When this whole process started, it was really about, let's bring together a choreographer and a composer and have them collaborate with a third artist. And that third artist could be a, a painter, a writer, it could also be a poet, it could be an architect, it could be a photographer. Anybody with something really interesting to say who's on the vanguard of their form can come into our process and influence it and lead us to new places. I became very inspired to create something that loosely had to do with the overview effect, which is when astronauts go out into outer space and they see our planet as a small blue ball in the darkness, and it's a monumental change in perspective. We thought, well, it's a really different place to start for a ballet. Judd Greenstein, whose music I've used before, started looking at uh, the artist Zaria Foreman's work. Looking at what she was creating at the time was perfect. Zaria had actually just gotten off of Operation Ice Bridge, which are these flights that NASA takes over the Arctic and the Antarctic to take photographs and map the changes of ice of the planet. And we talked to her, we visited her studio, we had conversations about what this process was like, how these drawings are created and how meticulous they are and how high a level of technique really is required to create them. This is my second time working with Ballet Collective and it's always a very special experience. Um, I don't know of any other three-part collaboration that I can really think of that people like myself, composers, get to do. Looking at Zarya's images, I was really focused on the idea of change, the idea of process, the idea of the movement that you see, the movement that you don't see embedded within these images. So ice, uh, glaciers, can look like very static, still spaces, but in fact they're imbued with this deep sense of motion. It's not just what do we see in a piece of source art, it's everything, it's the process, it's how the image is structured, what's the content, what is it of, and how is it created. The task is not to create a ballet of the source art, it's to create a ballet that could not exist without it. Something that I'm really appreciative of in my journey right now is that I am both a dancer and a choreographer at the same time, uh, specifically with Ballet Collective. I think it's really kind of humbling and beautiful and it's one of my favorite parts about being a choreographer, is kind of taking my mind and my heart and then putting it into someone else and then saying, here, take it, you get to take care of this now. I think that's something that's really important and something that I really appreciate about Ballet Collective is artists. I think the biggest thing that we struggle with is finding time and finding a place. Without that time and space, it can't happen. It can't go out into the universe. So having Ballet Collective facilitate that is what we need in the arts community. At Ballet Collective, we're always looking for choreographers, composers, and artists who are always at the forefront of their forms, who are really saying something that very few other people are. We have world-class dancers and world-class musicians always performing our work. So you really have all of these people 
who are really craving to be a part of something new and exciting coming together to create these ballets. We just want to keep this going, keep expanding our scale, keep giving this opportunity to more and more artists because every artist who participates in this grows. When artists working in different forms come together, the unexpected happens. What can an architect say about dance? What can a composer say about a painting? And what can both those art forms say about the world?